Hi, welcome back to Dr. Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. I hope you're well. In today's video, I'm going to go over the calcitonin blood test. And in this video, we're going to be covering three main points. Firstly, we'll look at what calcitonin is. Secondly, we'll go over when it's requested. And finally, we'll go over what the result could mean. But before we start the video, can I please request that if you haven't done so already, please consider clicking on the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with the latest videos on the channel, which I publish twice a week, every week. So first of all, what's being tested? So the calcitonin test measures the amount of calcitonin in the blood. The exact function of calcitonin is unknown, but what is known is that it's a hormone produced by C cells in the thyroid. The thyroid is a small butterfly-shaped gland that lies over the windpipe in the throat. It produces several hormones, primarily T4, also known as thyroxine, and T3, that help to control the rate of metabolism. In two rare conditions, C-cell hyperplasia, otherwise known as overgrowth, and medullary thyroid cancer, MTC, excessive amounts of calcitonin are produced. C-cell hyperplasia is a benign condition that may or may not progress to become medullary thyroid cancer. Medullary thyroid cancer is malignant and it can spread beyond the thyroid and it can be difficult to treat if it's not discovered at an early stage. So now that we know a little bit more about calcitonin, well, how is it used in clinical practice? So the calcitonin test is primarily used to help diagnose C-cell hyperplasia and medullary thyroid cancer, as well as to evaluate the effectiveness of treatment for medullary thyroid cancer and to monitor patients for recurrence of the cancer following treatment. It can also be used to screen for medullary thyroid cancer in family members of patients with something called MEN2. This is an inherited disorder which predisposes people to medullary thyroid cancer. Baseline calcitonin results may also be useful if medullary thyroid cancer is suspected, but it's not routinely recommended for all thyroid nodules. So finally, in the third section of this video, let's go over what the test results might mean. Well, an elevated concentration of calcitonin means that excessive amounts are being produced. Significantly elevated concentrations of calcitonin are usually a good indicator of C-cell hyperplasia or medullary thyroid cancer. However, the doctor will use other procedures, for example, a thyroid biopsy, scan or ultrasound to confirm the diagnosis. With successful treatment for medullary thyroid cancer, which usually involves the removal of the thyroid gland and often some surrounding tissues, calcitonin will usually fall to very low concentrations. If the values stay low over time, then it's likely that the treatment was effective. In some cases, calcitonin will fall but remain moderately elevated after treatment. This means that some calcitonin producing tissue remains. It will also depend on the baseline calcitonin before the surgery and the stage of the tumour at the presentation. Doctors can often monitor calcitonin and watch for increases over time. If calcitonin levels begin to rise, then there could be a recurrence of something like medullary thyroid cancer if that was the original condition you were diagnosed with. Of course, individual interpretation of blood results is going to depend on the individual patient, and this should only be done by the doctor who is caring for that individual. I hope the video was helpful and informative. If you did find it useful, please remember to like it and leave me a comment in the comment section below if you've got any questions. I do try to reply to all comments where possible. However, please remember that this is primarily designed as an education platform and I can't give individual medical advice. I've also included useful extra reading links in the description box of this video, which contain more information on calcitonin and medullary thyroid cancer. So please check those out if you've got time. Thanks again for watching. I hope you learned something new and until next time, bye.